Hello! In this tutorial I'll show you the basic operation of Pebbles. Pebbles is a software for the recognition and measurement of nanoparticles from transmission electron micrographs. When you first start Pebbles you will find these two windows. This is the main window where the command buttons are collected and where the TEM images will be shown. This is a log window where all operations and results from Pebbles will be logged. I assume that you are familiar with the theoretical background of Pebbles. So let's start by loading an image. The image appears in the main window and some comments are displayed in the log window. As you can see there are two command button rows. The top one is composed of standard MATLAB buttons because Pebbles has been implemented in MATLAB language. The second row are the buttons specific to Pebbles. With the standard MATLAB buttons you can do simple things like saving your picture, printing your picture, zooming and panning the image. For instance, I want to see a little bit better this part of the image. I just zoom it, then I can pan and zoom back again to the original dimensions. So now we will fit a few nanoparticle models and so I zoom in a little bit in this region and show you how to fit a nanoparticle. Just press the button for the manual fit of nanoparticles and you will uh, see a uh, help window and in general I invite you to read the help instructions before proceeding. You first are asked uh, the nanoparticle shape and I choose a sphere and then uh, you're asked for the intensity model and uh, I choose the simplest one, the linear intensity model. Then I have to give the optimization procedure the center and uh, diameter guess. And this is done graphically by clicking on the center of the nanoparticle, dragging the mouse to give a diameter and then click again to start the fitting procedure. When the procedure is finished, four windows appear. In the top row you will find a comparison between the experimental surface in blue and the calculated surface in yellow and the same as in the conventional image representation where the fitted nanoparticle is shown with a green edge. The bottom row represents the difference between the experimental data and the calculated data. In this case I'm satisfied with the fit result and I press yes and the, nanopartic the green nanoparticle edge appears also on the main window and the optimization parameters appear in the log window. For instance the diameter in pixel, the intensity change due to the nanoparticle and the maximum nanoparticle transmittance. Let's fit another nanoparticle, sphere, linear model and I choose one of those very black nanoparticles and in this case let's say I'm not satisfied with the result because you can see that the intensity surface are different so I do not accept 
the result and a small yellow cross appears where uh, the guest center was. What I want to do now is to fit again this nanoparticle, spherical one, but now I choose a quadratic intensity model. I click in center, drag and click again. Now the surface is better fitted to the model and also the nanoparticle edge. So I accept this result. Let's do it for the last time. Press the manual add button, select the nanoparticle shape and the intensity model, click on the center, drag the mouse, click again to start and at last you can validate or not the result. In this case that's good, yes. Now I want to save my results and I can save all nanoparticle models in a list file and to do this just press this button save list and you can save it in a file. So that's enough for the first tutorial and Finally, I just show you how to close pebbles by clicking on this red cross button. Quit. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use the semi-automatic mode to fit nanoparticles.